Hi friends, this is Mrs. Ford, and I just got back from the library. It's after school, so there's nobody here. So I don't have my mask on, but I will the next time I see you here at school. When I went to the library, Jonathan London wrote lots of books. He wrote lots of froggy stories and lots of others. Because Jonathan London's name starts with the letter L, this theme has lots of froggy stories. Because we just voted for a president a few days ago, I'm going to start with Froggy for President. Get cozy, our stories are about five minutes long. There's some activities at the end that you can choose to upload into your portfolio. So we can go back and forth and I can plan some really cool things based on your interests. Here's our title page. As normal, I'm gonna shift my seat a little bit so you can see the pictures while you listen to the words that I read. Our dedication's up here at the top. It's in black and white. Um, he dedicates it to Aaron, Seth, Steph, Naya and Sweet Maureen and all the students of Hellsburg Elementary and Hellsburg Charter School who held an election and voted for, can you guess who? Froggy! Are you ready? At school on Friday, Froggy read a poster. Vote! Election Monday for class president. Great! Said Froggy, I can't wait. On Monday, Froggy woke up and bounced out of his bed. Boing, boing, boing! Yippee! He said, today I run for president. Arf, said Doggy. So Froggy hopped out of bed and ran out of the house. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy called his mother. What? Or what are you doing? I'm running for president. Are you running for president in your underwear, dear? Oops, cried Froggy. He ran back, got dressed, and ate his breakfast of cereal and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. Now I can run for president, said Froggy. That's nice, dear, said Mom. And Froggy ran all the way to the bus stop. Flop, flop, flop. On the school bus, Max shouted, Froggy for president. And Matthew and Travis shouted with him. But Leah jumped up and shouted, Frogalina for president. And Emma and Hannah shouted with her all the way to school. Sounds like a pretty noisy school bus. At circle time, Mrs. Witherspoon said, Now, class, we have two candidates for president, Froggy and Frogalina. What's your platform, Froggy? Froggy hopped up on his desk, zoop, and he said, this is. <laughs> no, dear, said Mrs. Witherspoon. What would you like to do if you were elected president? Oh, said Froggy, well, I'd want to have 10 snack times, get a trampoline for the school, and have a recess all day long. Hooray, cried Froggy's friends. Froggy for president. And Frogalina jumped up and wrote on the chalkboard. This is my platform, she said, and she read it out loud. Start a search party to find everybody's lost things. Have a lunch sharing program. Have a talent show to raise money for the school library. Hooray, cheered Frogalina's fans. Frogalina for president. Even Froggy started to cheer. Oops. Um, is it snack time yet? Yes, dear, said Ms. Witherspoon. Yum, cried Froggy. Cupcakes and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. After snack time, Ms. Witherspoon said, Now it's time for the two candidates to make a speech. Frogalina, will you go first? After Froggy, said Frogalina. So Froggy jumped up on his chair and he sang, A vote for me is a vote for you. Twiddly dee and twiddly do. Love books, make art and play all day. We can learn and dance and play, play, play. And he did a little dance. Ta-da! Hooray! Cheered Froggy's fans. Froggy for president. Thank you, dear, said Ms. Witherspoon. Now, Frogalina, it's your turn. Frogalina stood up and said, I would rather show than tell, so follow me. We're going on a search party. And everybody poured outside and went hog wild. Fro found Max's soccer ball, yelled Froggy. Thump! Found Froggy's saxophone, yelled Max. Squawk! Found Emma's hairbrush, yelled Hannah, brush. Found Hannah's toothbrush, yelled Emma, brush up, brush up, brush up. Now I'm wondering why things like a hairbrush and a toothbrush would be outside. You might play a saxophone outside if it's super loud in your house. Chrissy used to play a saxophone. She practiced a lot. Well, that night, Froggy couldn't sleep. He sat up and he cuddled Doggy and he looked out the window at the moon. Hoo, hoo said Mr. Owl, who will vote for you? I know, 
said Froggy, jumping up. I'll vote for me. Orf, said Doggy. At school the next day, Froggy was so excited that when Ms. Witherspoon handed out the ballots and he checked the box next to his name, his pencil flew out of his hand, zing! And when Leah came around with the ballot box, his ballot almost tore in two. When he stuck it in the slot, rip! <gasps> Thank you for voting, Leah giggled. Now, only one vote, Froggy. I know, said Froggy. And he wondered, who will vote for me? Um, there's Max and Matthew and Travis and me. He held up three fingers on one hand and then a thumb on his other. And then he jumped up on his chair and he yelled, three plus one is five. That means I win. I'll be president. I'll be president. Um, three plus one is four, silly, said Frogalina. And everybody laughed. Oops. I know that, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Listen, children, said Ms. Witherspoon, I have counted all the ballots, and it's four for Froggy and four for Frogalina. <gasps> oh no, cried Max, it's a tie. What are we going to do? It looks like Froggy has an idea. I wonder how they're going to break the tie. I know, said Froggy, we'll be presidents together. Hooray, everyone cheered. Frogalina leaped up beside him, and together they sang, A vote for me is a vote for you, twiddle-dee-dee -dee and twiddle-dee-doo, Froggy for president and Frogalina too, and they had a high five. And the important thing is that they said they wanted to vote, and that's the end. Um, we've been talking a lot about voting. We haven't done an election um, in our classroom, um, but when we vote, we talk a lot about our country and the colors we've been talking about, red, white, and blue. I wonder what kind of artwork you might come up with if you were to draw a picture that had red, white, and blue. It might look something like the flag, it might look like something in our storybook, or it might be something totally creative up to you. I can't wait to see it. Upload that into your Seesaw platform and I will see you soon. Take care.